Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I enjoy being creative and love trying new tricks. My goal for this channel is to challenge myself and create fun stuff for myself. If you want to see me explore ideas and figure out ways to DIY a variety of stuff, click the subscribe button. Last week, I made my 8th Dragon Ball mini diorama. I'm slowly building a collection. Haha. <laughs> Today is Halloween. So I want to make a Halloween outfit for my dog. I've done a couple of drawing videos of him already. Links in the descriptions below. So. My dog loves sitting on the ledge of the couch. He enjoys the high vantage point, and he thinks he's fearless. Back to his Halloween outfit. I can simply have him wear this skeleton sweater, but that's not cool enough. He's too cute to be spooky. I want to be a bit more creative and use my favorite DIY medium. Paper. To make an outfit for him. As you may or may not notice. He has a special white paw. And he has this unique tuxedo-like pattern on his chest. I got it. He is going to be tuxedo mask from Sailor Moon. So. Can I make it? I am going to start by making his top hat. I can just make a cylinder and cut a circle and call it a day, but that's not fun. Instead, I am going to make it as a 3D model. Because I love 3D things. It's going to be a low poly model, so it will be more angular and less like a perfect cylinder. I want it to have more of a character. Here's it laid out. And I am going to cut cut cut. I don't want to bore you by showing you footage of me just cutting paper. So I am going to tell you a little bit about the other Halloween outfits I made in the past. The very first Halloween outfit I made was Starscream from Transformers Prime. It was a CGI TV show, and I was so impressed by its animation. So I wanted to make an outfit based on my favorite character from the show. I did wear it to work. It took at least 15 minutes to put it on. However, my inexperience did not inform me that I should have made it flexible enough for me to move in it. I could barely see out of those lens, and I couldn't even walk properly. So in the following year. I just wore the helmet to work instead. The next outfit I made was an improvement. I learned my lesson the first time. I needed to be able to see, and I needed to be able to move. I did not choose a mechanical character this time. Instead I dressed up as an assassin from the video game series. Assassin's Creed. This outfit was much simpler. It was mostly the hood, the shoulder piece and its mini cape, and the assassin bracer. I also wore this to work. And I was working as a photographer. So I entered the studio, put it on. And was acting all cool, and greeted my customer. I could see my customer, I could move my limbs. But. I could not turn, or tilt my head. The hood was one piece. And it was connected to my shoulders. Which means, if I had to turn and look to the side. I would have to turn my entire body. If I needed to pick up a prop, I had to bow down in order for me to see what was below me. Ha ha ha. So using the two lessons I learned. I made my third outfit. This time, I did not make it for myself. Instead, I made it for my bunny. He was a very chill bunny. We had this trust, where he would allow me to do anything with him. It was a couple of years ago. He was getting old. So I started this photo series of me just celebrating everything with him for as long as I could until he left. Maybe I will show you that series one day. Anyway. To celebrate Halloween, I made him another Transformer costume. I dressed him up as Rat Trap from Beast Wars from another CGI TV show. This was also the show that made me fall in love with CGI animations. And this time. The outfit was perfect. My bunny's mobility wasn't restricted by the costume. It was made out of regular printing paper, so it was very lightweight. And the wheels even spin just like the show. Alright, now here you see me gluing the top hat together. I only made the rim of the hat go halfway around, since my dog has giant bat ears. I don't want him to bend his ears, just to wear the hat. My original idea was just to feature his actual tuxedo fur, but I would need some sort of way to secure his cape. So to reduce the irritation caused by the paper on his body, I decided that I could just attach the paper pieces onto the sweater instead. That means, I would have to recreate the tuxedo shirt with paper, and I will just attach this to the front of his sweater. And now for the cape. I want it to be a bit flowy. Like it's windswept. Just slightly. 
I don't want him to bump into things when he walks around. Now watch me cut 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 again. And more fold fold fold. Folding these pieces into a sphere is very challenging and sometimes quite stressful to do. But the cape is more like a flat plane with mini hills. And this is actually very relaxing and fun to do. It's always exciting to slowly see the shape form as I glue the pieces together. Alright. Cape is done. Let's see if these pieces fit on my dog. He's a bit confused about what's going on. Ha ha ha. But I can see in his eyes that he trusts me. Phew, everything fits. Now let's paint everything. Side note. For some reason, this is the only time I didn't wear gloves. I am a genius. Alright. Here's everything painted. I think they look great. They look quite different painted. I can't wait to see what it'll look like in the end. Here he is. And now the reveal. Ha ha ha. He looks more like a bandit than tuxedo mask. I know what's missing. The most crucial piece of this look. Ta-da. There we go. Here's Tuxedo Mask. Okay. He's not hating it, but he's also not super comfortable here haha. <laughs> Maybe he just needs to be sitting on his favorite spot. Gasp. Who is that? It's Tuxedo Mask. What do you think of this outfit? I think the top hat and the mask is great. The Tuxedo bit could be better maybe next year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this a like and leave a comment if you want. Subscribe if you want to see me explore more creative ideas. Or tuxedo mask will punish you. I can make it. So can you.